Hello. Hi, what is happening here? We are talking about Islam, religion, politics. Anything. What you like to talk about? <laughs> what, we start, what's your name? Lucy. Lucy, hi Lucy, where are you from? Czech Republic. Czech Republic, oh yeah, Czech Republic. So you guys are scared now, booting around. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had a colleague. I had a colleague from Czech Republic. Uh, I don't remember his name, but yeah, I had one when I used to work in a farm, uh, in a bakery in, uh, in Norway. Yeah. So I assume you are Catholic? No. Orthodox? No. What? None. I'm, uh, you have God in you. You have God in you. I believe in God, but yeah. religion. I don't like religion. Okay, your parents. My parents nothing. They don't believe in God. They are nothing. I believe in God, but yeah. I don't like religion. Okay. I am spiritual. I like spirituality. Okay. You know, most of the people who say that I believe in spirituality, actually, they saying, I want to do whatever I want, and in the night I feel good about it. In the night what? In the night I want to feel good about it. Like, oh God, forgive me. Ah. What to forgive? There is nothing to forgive. You so you believe in God? Sorry? You believe in God? Yeah, right. but God is not What the connection? God is not punishing. Why would, why would God punish you for something? We are not perfect, we are just humans, you know. Oh, everyone makes mistakes. Yeah. It's impossible to punish everyone for everything because all the people of the world, they make mistakes. It's yeah, true. It's impossible to punish everyone. Everyone would end up in the hell, to be honest. If, the, if it's true what is written in all the religions. So that's why I don't agree with that. Yeah, but listen. Uh, there is a small scene, small, like I looked at a girl, uh, I, I, uh, I cheated in an exam, there is a small thing, but the major scenes, you think God don't punish? No, what does it mean major things? For example, killing. Yeah, the, you know, Do you believe in a heaven? Well, I believe that the heaven will be on earth. Do you believe, so you believe in a God, you believe in an afterlife, but you don't believe in a religion as possible? Yeah. So you believe that there is a place after you die that you'll go and be rewarded for being a good human and a place where you'll go I, I, if you no, want to no, go? I believe in reincarnation, I believe in more lives. Okay. We, we incarnate on earth many times, not only once. This is what I believe. That's Hindu belief, I think. Yeah, Buddhist. Yeah. 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 I don't know if it's Hindu. It's just yeah. my belief. Yeah. yeah. But do you think, like, uh, but you believe in God? That's most important. Yeah. yeah. Do you think it's a fair? There is a no punishment. If there is a no punishment. But there is the punishment is there and it's called karma. Yeah. So if you do something wrong, yeah. then it will come back to you. But to be punished for little things like smoking or I don't know, whatever. Well, this is small thing and then God forgives. Where, where we believe as a people. I'm not, I'm not like a big man in a religion or something. But we believe uh, small, small things. God will not look at him. But big major ones, for example, let us say karma, you say. For example, if I'm a, I'm a big gangster in my country, all right, I make money, I, uh, I, I kill people for fun, uh, I sell drugs, I do many things bad, I have plenty of women, I do, I do any things I want. What type of karma I would be scared of? Yeah, it will come back to you anyways. Uh, okay, if I died one day without no karma? It will come back next life. Next, so I will be, come back to the life and this. Yeah. That's where we say, if I believe in that God, that God don't, cannot call himself a just. Why? Because if we say, like, oh, I have a God, and this God is all-knowing, all-perfect, all-just, you understand? He will never let, if somebody get away from it with the crime in this life, no one could stop him, or no one uh, could punish him, then when, it, when he turn back to God, God will do the job, because he's the final judge. Yeah, it depends, you know. Sometimes people realize their mistakes, especially after death. They realize their mistakes, they want to correct them. So they incarnate again and they want to do something good. Then why I'm doing this? For example, let us say, most of the people in the world, they are good people. Most of the people, they are good people. The criminals are minorities, very, very small minorities. Yeah? Like now, you're not scared. I'm not scared. But something could happen. But we're not scared because in our head we know majority of the people they are good people. Here is the question. If I know 
if I know this is the right thing, this is the way to live, like I have other chance again, I come back and I come back. Why should I be good? Why I don't steal? Why I don't rape? Why I, why I don't do whatever I want? Because I want a lot. Me personally, I, and you want a lot too. It will come back to you anyways. I mean, whatever you do, it can, it can come back this life or the next life. So I get punishment next life? To this yeah. earth? Or the, the hereafter? Yeah, you can get this life or next life. It next depends. life, the hereafter. Well, you cannot compare, you cannot say that all the people that do bad will get punishment this life or next life. Everyone is different because people realize their mistakes. So for example, I do mistakes, I realize it, I want to correct it, I want to say sorry. So when I say sorry, when I realize, please forgive me, the person, the person will forgive me, then it's clear. If I'm serious, if, I, if I'm serious in my heart and if I won't continue to do the wrong things again, then it's been forgiven. When you say next life, you mean next life back to this earth? or next life in a judgment day? It can be in this earth or in another planet, it doesn't matter, somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. But usually when you do things here, bad things, you are bound to this earth, so you have to repay it here. Mm -hmm. We, me as a Muslim, I believe this is not fair, that I go, for example, because you are a lady talking to me, I will talk about the ladies' cases more. And for example, it's not fair, I go rape a girl, you understand? I rape her, I take her, uh, without, I raped her, I, take, I took her choices, she feels used, she feels very horrible, you understand? And I go with it, you understand? Of course, with the police, they will punish me. Let us say, we're not in England, let us say we are in Ibiza or somewhere, like no one knows no one and stuff like that, you understand? In Islam, you, you run out, you can hide from people. But you're not hiding from Allah watch, Allah eyes. And Allah promise you, He will punish you for that. You understand? In other religions, if you believe in Jesus Christ, ta -ta 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 -ta, you, then you, you found the, the salvation and stuff. In Islam, you believe in Muhammad, you believe in Jesus, that doesn't work this way. <laughs> Works it, how it's work it. You go back to those people. You understand? You take your responsibility. You understand? And you get your punishment. Then you ask God forgiveness and you be sincere after that. It's not forgive me, Lord. No, you be sincere because you can fake it to me, but not to him. You understand? Because he called himself all knowing. So he knows what is inside me. And then later on, I found the forgiveness. So in Islam, you know, before you do the action, what is the punishment? You, before you do it, you know. What you know. Yeah. So no mercy, no Muslim looks at you in mercy, or we have, we say like, oh my God, he was drunk or this. We don't have these things, you understand? No, but it's if he's totally drunk, especially now with the no, new methods, check-in and the hospitality, maybe he can find solution. But in Islam, you do bad things, no one supporting you. No religion, no nothing. You take, you take it. You, you did it as a man, yeah. You take it. You take the punishment as a man. Uh, if you have a lot of empathy to people, and if someone is making mistakes and he regrets it, he wants to change himself, then he deserves another chance. Exactly, but a small thing, because Allah says, if I rape and you forgive me, and he rapes, then forgive me. Allah said, will be chaos. Allah said. Uh, Allah apply the punishment so nobody be chaos so everybody hears and sees what happens if you cross the line to women in Islam women don't have to have a bodyguard or police in the street she's a free so if you do that you did it you was aware of what you're doing no mercy you're not gonna find any mercy in Islam that's why when you go in Google Less countries have in a cases, it's a Muslim country. It's not because we have more money than you. It's not because we have better system than you. We have the, what is called Sharia law and the religion. You, you act in something, you get the punishment that you already know. It's not like it's not surprise. You understand? But like that. And I have a question for you. Another question. If you have a time. And maybe I start. I have two questions. One is. 
as a European woman, what stops you to accept Islam? Second, it's uh, what is the, what is difficult or dark ideas you have about Islam. So, which one you like to take first? So, okay, I will start with the first question. I like Islam. In my past life, I used to be Muslim. I used to live in Egypt, so yeah, okay. I know very well what is Islam about. And my ex-boyfriend was Egyptian. Oh, okay. So I like, I really like Islam. I like Arabs and Muslims, and uh, I don't have any problems with Islam. But I just don't believe in it because I know I had more lives, and that's it. Uh, what was the second question? Second question is: As a European woman, what do you think is the difficult to be a Muslim? Is it any difficulty? Uh, yeah, it's too strict, you know. Uh, guys, they cannot have sex before marriage. It's impossible for a lot of guys to accomplish, to be honest. Yeah. It's, uh, it's very harsh and I don't understand why it's like this, but we live in the modern world. We are developing and evolving. That's why the religion still stay the same, even though the world is evolving and the consciousness of people is evolving and the religion is still the same. That's why that's why it doesn't apply for me. I totally respect you. You can do whatever you want. It's no, I like, I like, you know, you're brave. You understand? Because if, when I ask people uh, like uh, a question like this, they try to be diplomatic. And, you know, we, I, I, we like to talk normally. You understand? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be a diplomatic. I'm not. Yeah. The thing is, I like, uh, why Islam, like, uh, forbidding uh, sex before marriage? You know, we are Muslims. We are men too. <laughs> really. We know who's a beautiful and who's not. We know that we have a type. We have everything. For example, uh, you as a young lady, European young lady, you are very beautiful. But the question here is, you understand, what I want from you. Now, maybe because of the modern life we say like, okay, we are liberal, we can, we can have a sex, it's just a sex, we enjoy in a moment and stuff like that. Many excuses when we can do that. But I believe, as a man, and came from Africa and this, I believe, before the sex happened, there is a like before that. You like something in me, and I like something in you. Maybe more women think men are more uh, like uh, they are not selective. Like we are easy with things, but lady, she likes something. With the time and age goes, you understand. Women want to be sure about these things. You understand? I understand it's enjoyment, pleasure, and this, and Islam, Islam confirmed that. But the, she wants more something like a sure. When we cross, when the lady cross like age 27, 28, 30, you understand? I think, I believe, you understand? And I met a lot of girls, they want like uh, the man have the same feelings with them. He's not looking for the next, you understand? And they have uh, problems with the competition. You understand? You're beautiful, there's other girl beautiful, there's other girl tall, there's other girl short, there's, there's a big m competition. And it's no price tag on that, it's a just free. So for the man can go loose, it works for me. Me as a man, I'm, if, I'm, if, I'm, I'm, not, if I'm, not, I'm not fair in God, if I'm not fair in God, for me, good business. You understand? I take care of myself, I go gym, I did it, did it, did it, and I believe I have many chances. So it goes good with me. And in the end, when I marry one woman, I can keep cheating. It's still good business for me, if I wasn't Muslim. But is it good business for the lady? I go out and I destroy her feelings. Like she feels like, oh, he's still looking for something. She's not safe. He can replace me. He can, he can bring diseases to the relationship. He not evaluate, in a, like uh, for example, He's not really taking care of me. Like if I lost my job, or if I if I got burned or got disease, is he's gonna stick around? A Muslim man, he's not better than the non-Muslim man much, but he have a fear of God. He says, "I'm Allah will ask me about her. I have. She don't have a money. It's my job. Before I marry her, I already knew that the man is the one who pays." So when she working, for example, let us say, you married them to the Muslim man, if you working, it's a bingo. If you're not working, he's doing his own job. Yeah, like it's nothing new. He's not doing you a favor. 
So I believe Islam it makes you know when Islam says don't go don't have a relationship with a woman without a marriage, Islam basically saying you want her, you take care of her as well. Not you want her ten minutes, then you leave her. Yeah. You understand? I, I, I understand yeah. it but Much mm. these two people, and if it's not the much in bed, then it's too late to marry her and after the sleep. Yeah. So it has to be like a good match, the same hope is but the much in bed, because from my own experience, not everyone is the much in bed. Yeah. That's why I, I just don't agree with that, and also if the guy uh, is pure in his heart, but he doesn't, he can stop loving the woman in a few years. This happens naturally. It's normal. Yeah. Sometimes you will, the love will stop. Only the true love will last forever. So after a few years, when the love will stop, he can start looking for someone else. And even though he's married, he can. Uh, it's like natural evolution. It's, it's normal, you know. It's not like I will be with this person forever, and I made I made commitment. Normally, it doesn't work like this. Yeah. It's just in uh, idealistic. Yeah. Idealistic, it's like this, but normally it doesn't. But work like this. who made these ideas? Men like me. They made these ideas. I'm a man. I cannot stick in a one woman. Look, west side of the world, Europe, and I'm in North America. They are 15% of the world, and they claim they know life more than the rest of the world. There, in the west, in the west side, Europe. They saying this is the nature of the man. No, go to China. It's a man too, but he he go old with his woman. You understand all this time. Look at the old European, a farmer working, woman making cheese in a home and this. No man can stick with a one woman. The problem they get twisted, go crazy. It's the choices now, everywhere. Ah, you, you mean that there are a lot of opportunities? Yeah, there's there's a lot of women everywhere. W women showing the beauty, trying hard to show beauty. Women already, they are opposite gender to us and we attract to them. Imagine, on top of that, they doing all the impossible and impossible to show us that they, she's a beautiful. That's a, a lot for a man. And on top of that, the price is free. Here is the problem. And when we talk about, when we talk about like, uh, uh, like we need to be much in uh, in everything. This is the modern uh, ideology. Like the man have to be a tall. The man have to be no, like this. The man have to be straight. I know, I know. You mean the bed? It's, uh, in the, in the no, bed. In general, like much, like to understand each other, not to be the same. They cannot be the same exactly. To have same opinions on everything. Mm. Just the right match. Yeah, the right the right match. I believe. I believe, I don't know about, about you, I believe the right match is somebody you can wake up every day next to. Yeah. That's, uh, it's not you say, oh, I made a mistake. And yeah. that, that's, yeah, exactly. that's first of all. Yeah. Second thing is somebody you can trust. You, and can you can trust. You can give him your back without thinking he would stop, stump you or something. So if I have these two, the rest is a temporary, like uh, the body, the 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 body the money this is a temporary thing because i'm living this world without money i need the money just to live comfortable life this life you understand so the rest is but the concept now we have in the in the west is for example every black man he like a a, 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 a thick girl you understand so automatically small black guy when he grow up he's he have this mentality he i like this why because I'm a black, I'm supposed to like this, you understand? Every white man, he likes a model, a skinny, a very, very skinny and stuff like that. So when a white man likes a big girl, they say, what's wrong with you, you're a white man, <laughs> you understand me? It's not about he likes, they because they like, you understand? Because the society telling us this, the only thing is more we are picky, I believe, more, more we are picky saying like, I can't settle for less. I do this. I'm wasting my time, and it's no promise. Third thing, it's the best thing to ask it the person who had experience. The wise man, he learned from other people experience. 
what is it? When we go to the uh, guys like uh, they are single, 50 years old now or six years old, why are you single? Because he lived playboy life. Now he have a dog walking with the dog. You understand? Because he never took care of you. Amongst these 10 or 100 ladies he had, definitely some of them, they were sweethearts. And, and definitely somebody loved him. But he was, he thought like he's better than them. Now they have a family, they have a grandkids. He is the one who walking around with the dog, acting sweet to the dog. Don't fake it, you're regretting the bad life you live. You understand? And the same goes for you and I. If we, if we like look at the person, he's a safe, he's, he's like this, okay, uh, if, if we both can uh, be a partner, we marry and this fantastic. If he change, we change. We, I, I divorce him. Very simple. It's better than waiting for this uh, nice figure, nice guy and stuff like that. That's it. That's what I have to say. Nice talking to you. That was very interesting talking to you. You're welcome. Yeah. And my other, you come here often? Mm, well, sometimes. This is the first Sunday. I didn't see this one here. I, it's the first time when yeah. I'm here. Six Are you new in England? No, six years. Six years, yeah? Six years, and this is your first time? Not in Hyde Park, but yeah. on Sunday when this thing is happening here. Yeah. Otherwise, I, don't, I didn't know about this. I just randomly came here yeah. just to have some yeah. chill a little bit, and I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. Do you like to link with the... Uh, do you have friends and stuff? Do you like to link with the Muslim girls? You will be more familiar, I think, and comfortable to know them, eat with them in a restaurant or this. Have more friends, I and maybe you become a Muslim. I have. No, no, no. I have Muslim friends. I have good. friends. I used to work with, mm. so they were my colleagues, and sometimes we even meet, yeah. Mm. That's Where good. are you from? Somalia. Yeah, they are from Somalia. <laughs> We're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's good. Then I'm not saying because I'm Somali. I think Somalians they can represent okay Islam. Okay Islam. You know, it's like a, if you read more, you learn more. But as an Islam, we are we don't mix. Uh, you know, like some some other uh, people, they mix Christianity with the real culture, with the culture, and uh, some people they mix. For example, I don't want to mention a country. Uh, they mix Islam with the culture. We Somalians, we separate both. Islam, Islam, and what we do, we tell you, hey, hey, hey this is our culture. That's the guys has nothing to do with Islam. So you never mix like Muslim and Catholic. Yeah, and no, we don't mix our religion with our culture. For example, if we had something, if we, when, of course, we have some uh, in our culture something bad, like uh, bad, uh, bad uh, ideas and stuff like that. But the good thing about Somali, they say, no, this bad is for my culture, it's not for my Islam. But some, cal some nations you can see, it's, it's already mixed, so you cannot separate the both. And Islam, I don't represent Islam. For example, tomorrow if you see me uh, drunk alcohol and uh, walking around like that, I'm just a Muslim. And if you see me like a very good man and this, I'm just a Muslim. Islam represented by Quran and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam teaching. If more you closer to that, more you are closer to perfection. More you away, you are less. And and Allah don't expect us to be a perfect. But the most important thing in Islam, after the believing in one God, believing the day after, believing all the prophets, the most important thing is I try to keep my sins here to me, not to cross. Because Allah can forgive me, Allah for, can everything. It's wrong to use can or cannot. Allah does whatever he wants. But it's easier for me to, to, to find mercy and forgiveness if I don't uh, cause other people harms or confusion or this. When it's my sin about me, I'm, I'm, I'm in a good side. But soon I start deceiving you, I love you, but I'm not loving you, yeah, I keep you worried, I go to this person, I borrow money, I'm not willing to beg this. Now it's, I'm starting to go to the other people and I have to ask forgiveness from the other people. And that's, 
That's the thing. Yeah, I stick with your girls. <laughs> yeah, nice to see you. Thank you. It was very nice. You're welcome. Nice to see you. Thanks. Thanks.